All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Natalie here, back with a message for you guys today. Hope everyone is doing well. So let's tap in and see what spirit has for us. Keep in mind, energies can be reversed. Time is fluid. Not everything will resonate for everyone out there, so please use your discernment. If you needed a more personal, you're more than welcome to email me. My email is in the description box below, along with everything else you need to know about this reading. All right, let's jump right in. Holy Spirit and Angel, what's the message, please, for the collective right now? Eight of Wands. All right, so some sort of swift movement, some sort of message is coming in. Ooh, uh, this doesn't look good, though. Um... Let's see, what else? Someone may have lost something. King of Swords reverse with the Queen of Swords. Uh-oh. Hmm. Some of them may try to go against the Queen of Swords, huh? There's something about communication. Someone could be like losing a whole argument to a woman here. This man here. Hmm. Spiritually or physically. What else? Someone just likes to oppress people. They like to keep people in check all the time. Like you cannot check this Queen of Swords energy though. We have Judgment here with the Knight of Wands. Nine of Cups reverse. Someone is not liking the way something is going right now. Two of Cups. You could have been in a relationship with this person. Three of Swords reverse. The Moon reverse. Is this about... Give me one more. Is this about... Like what... what okay, Page of Cups. This may be about what someone does on their leisure time or something here. Yeah, four of wands. Um, it looks like you guys could be excited to move somewhere. You're moving towards your calling here, wherever you're going. And someone's trying to block you. They're trying to say that whatever you're doing or wherever you're going, it's very, uh, it needs to be controlled or something here needs to be controlled. But I don't see what the problem is. What's the Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands? The Empress. Nine of Swords. Something's moving very fast for the Empress and someone is afraid of it. They're they're stressed out about this. Yeah, that you're moving away. Or this Empress is moving away. What's the King of Swords of Earth? Someone is out here lying. Or someone is crazy. It's like they try to threaten people or they're trying to threaten a relationship that this Empress is going to be in. Yeah, they're a freaking sociopath. They could be a karmic Aquarius. They do stupid stuff, foolish stuff. Someone is like threatening your life or something. Whoever this King of Swords in, in the reverse is, they're th trying to threaten you. What's the Queen of Swords here? Page of Swords reverse. What's the uh, Knight of Wands here? What is going on? I'm picking up an argument. The Nine of Pentacles reverse with the Page of Wands. Some, someone's obsessively spying over you. It's like they act like they don't care about what you're doing or what you're doing is wrong. And they have nothing to worry about because... They don't fear karma or something, but at the same time, they're obsessively watching you. They don't have an identity unless they're watching you. They have like no self-awareness of anything at all. They're constantly talking about you, whoever this person is. Someone is definitely throwing evil at you because of what you're saying or they're trying to like shut you up or whatever this is. What's judgment here? The Queen of Cups. 
Queen of Cups is in her purpose. Ace of Swords. Yeah, and the way she speaks, it's right. Like, she'd be right, though. So, what do you mean? Like, you want this person to shut up because they're telling the truth? Someone is also very caring. They're not very cutting. They're not even cutting with their words, really. Your words cut... Like you use a butter knife when when you're cutting with your words. You don't you don't try to hurt anybody. That's what I'm getting for this. But it still cuts like a knife. That's what I'm getting for this. I'm pretty sure you guys do walk on eggshells when it comes to speaking your mind, and you're able to do that very well. And you're able to, um, you know, like not criticize people. It's not about criticizing you. Whatever you're telling people is because you care about them, okay? So it, sh it just hits different whenever you speak the truth. But to this specific person, they don't want you speaking the truth because it's like it just makes them look bad, okay? What's the Nine of Cups reverse? What's the Nine of Cups reverse? Like everyone comes to you for advice. You're the Queen of Cups. You're the Counselor. Uh, Page of Wands. Five of Pentacles reverse. So because you have a love or an inspiration for something, they feel like they are a failure or they feel like it's just making them uncomfortable. Like I'm seeing someone like shift around. They got to shift around all the time. They got to move around a lot, throw their weight around, whoever this person is. It could be a queen of wands or verse. They always got to throw their weight around to get, get to where, you know what I mean? Like they... They got to step on people to get to where they need to be in order to be comfortable. And then when they see people with true raw talent or creativity or any sort of good news, they feel insecure because they had to fight for that or they had to do all these sexual acts for that or they had to like, I don't know, sacrifice somebody for that. You don't have to do that. So your gifts are pure. So you got people around you like that. What's the two of cups here? Hangman reverse. What's the three of wands or the three of swords reverse? So there's something here about your gifts. I feel like you're very enlightened. Ten of cups reverse with a five of swords reverse. It's a whole community out here mad because you're healing from something. They also know... Someone just found out that, like, you're in a new relationship. So, someone is basically fighting with themselves. If they're fighting over a, a dude or a woman, they're fighting with themselves because you're in a whole other relationship. And they thought that they ended you or they thought that they, like, blocked your heart chakra. They didn't. They thought that they hurt you bad. Whoever these people are, they thought they hurt you real bad. Where they messed you up to where you're not going to go anywhere or you're not going to be with anyone else. It was a community. What's the moon reverse? These people really think that they're doing something. I didn't see no strength cards. So these people have no strength, no talent, no nothing. But they want to attack someone who has something given to them by God or something here is very pure. What's the moon reverse? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. What's the page of cups? You may have people trying to apologize to you. What's the page of cups? Seven of wands. Yeah. All these people can give you is the page of cups energy. So just continue to stand your ground with this. You may have someone that like was trying to copy you or something. Now they want to be your friend or whatever. It's giving me like. People got to realize like this is your purpose or this is what you're supposed to be doing. Someone doesn't have a purpose or they don't have like a gift or a north node or whatever. I mean, everybody has a north node, but they don't have it in them to follow it. So they want to attack other people that have the gift or whatever this is. Someone always needs self-assurance through you. Without you, they don't have any sort of like reassurance or confirmation or self-assurance self or something. Yeah, so 
if there is a copycat out here, 1001 on the clock, they don't really get their uh, messages. Yeah, the star reverse. It's like this person is like a. It's like, you know, those singers that get caught lip syncing and stuff like that. Well, everybody lip syncs now, but you know what I mean? It's like people are getting caught for not having their own talent or something. Something here was your voice the entire time. They were using your voice. King of Wands reverse. Someone may see it. Uh, there's a King of Wands reverse out here that has no options. He needs sacral energy. There, there's the King of Pentacles reverse again. This could be two men out here. Or it could be one man, earth and fire in their chart. <clears throat> hmm. They, if it's two men, they're in a relationship together. That's for some of you. But they need energy or this person needs energy. Something about the sacral connects to the money. Five of Cups reverse, yeah. So they don't have anyone to like take energy from. Whoever these people are or whoever this man is, he has no one he can take energy from. People don't regret losing them or they don't see them as a prize anymore or something or you don't. Page of Pentacles. This person used to be seen as like an asset or people thought that this person was an asset but now they're just a liability right now. This could be man or woman, though. Nine of Swords here. Yeah, it's like they're real stressed out right now. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Someone is lazy at work or something. They don't really work. Six of Cups reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. Someone doesn't work. Give me one more. Someone could be pretending to work and they don't. Queen of Swords of Earth. Someone is saying be quiet. I'm not going to sit here and be quiet. You guys are playing in my energy. Someone is out here playing in my energy and they want me to be quiet about like this man's lifestyle. But y'all are always in other people's business though. That's what I'm getting for this. So if you're always in other people's business, your business is going to end up being exposed. It's called karma. Someone thinks that they can expose your business. That's not even true. And I feel like there's something here about like uh, your love life or something. Or they thought that they did you in. They didn't. That's why they're 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 constantly watching you. What's the seven of cups reverse? They thought that they did their big one on you, the emperor, the hermit. So there's an actual divine masculine here coming in, or like you. You've already canceled out all your options and you're going towards this emperor or this emperor is canceling, canceling out their options and coming towards you. Who's the king of wands reverse? Yeah, the ten of swords. Someone else is like messed up. It's like they do the most. What's the king of pentacles reverse? They just do a lot. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what you want me to say about this man. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, they could be going to jail too. Four Pentacles Reverse. I don't know what y'all want me to say about this person. I consider finance reason, readings to be kind of boring. So when I pick, even when I pick up, you know, stuff like where people deserve to go through it, it's still kind of boring. Like all I'm seeing is paperwork. Like, where are we? the bank or the, or, or the IRS office or what is this? I don't like this. I don't like the energy right now, but you got some broke people in your energy. They're trying to project it onto you guys. What's the five of cups reverse? The death card. Someone's like... Basically, someone's time is up. They're not attractive or like they're too grown to be doing something or. 
people don't like them no more. People don't see them as a loss or a priority or something. This is how they feel. What's the Page of Pentacles? The world? No. Yeah, the world card. So you may have learned something from this. Like, this is a karmic cycle that's closing up. What's the Nine of Swords? You want to know something about this cycle? I feel like when it came to this cycle, you never thought that you'd get out of it. Like you always knew that you would get out of it eventually, but you never thought that you would really get out of it because, you know, insecurities and, you know, 5D stuff, 3D stuff or whatever. Um, but you didn't think it would end this way. I'm hearing you would have done this a long time ago if you knew it was going to end this way. So there's something peaceful about this situation or very um justified like whatever someone is going through is very justified but i feel like what spirit was doing here they were they were um letting this person hang themselves they were they let them stab you in the back so much to where there's no way that they can come back if this person didn't do all this to you you probably would have went back to them or if you're still stuck on this person, spirit is going to, they're going to make them keep doing this to you. So you have to learn the lesson and move forward. What's the nine of swords? Queen of pentacles with the sun. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be okay. Whoever, the, whoever you guys are, you guys are going to be okay. This is someone that's really stressed out because you're going to be okay. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, because people are trying to shut me up and I don't care. We have the Two of Swords here and the Four of Wands. Like, I don't care. You should not be watching me if you don't want me to pick up your financial situation, okay? <laughs> <sighs> All right, so what's the Six of Cups reverse? Someone doesn't know what to do for work. They don't know what to do to put work into something. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. What's the uh, Three of Pentacles reverse? Justice. See what I mean? Them working, not working with you or not um, doing what they were supposed to be doing brought you justice. Queen of Wands. Five of Swords reverse. Chariot reverse. Someone could be having car troubles. Yeah, like this this is gonna be energy where like this is supposed to be this way. This is what balance really is. These people getting their karma and having to start over and you getting what you deserve because you worked hard for it. It may not look balanced on the outside, but spiritually what's going on here is balance. Okay. People think, oh well, if you're supposed to be balanced, then everyone's supposed to have everything and everyone's supposed to be equal and everyone's supposed to no one's supposed to go without. No one's supposed to not have money. No one's supposed to... Yeah, that's what people think Libra energy is about. But it's not really like that. It's, it's basically about... You get what you put out. Like, cause and effect. It, it's something about your life is balancing out and something in their life is balancing out. And it may not be good for them... But it's what they get. It's like something, it's about, it's about karma. What's the queen of swords in the reverse? Yes, in a perfect world, everyone's supposed to have everything and no one's supposed to go without. But apparently, people like to manipulate spirit and think that they can get away with it. What's the queen of swords reverse? The high priestess, the moon card. Yeah, someone, someone is just mad, mad that you have all, like, the the records or the knowledge to something here. So they want you to shut up. They don't want you to speak about it. They feel like you know too much. They feel like you shouldn't know certain things. But it's truth. Intentions. Honesty. If they were honest, they wouldn't feel bad about being exposed. Or they wouldn't feel bad when people spoke on them. And my channel is not a gossip channel. 
nine times out of ten, everything that I'm saying, I'm picking. You guys see me shuffling these cards. It my messages are definitely random, but it they're only going to. I'm only going to pick up what I see in the cards. I don't go find gossip to talk about and then try to pull cards on it. That's not what I do. But people tend to think that you, if you have a channel like mine and you might not be a reader, but you, you have a platform to where you're speaking the truth, you're not getting your information from anywhere but God. You're not, you don't scroll through social media and be like, what should I talk about today? No, you don't. You turn your camera on and you talk. And these people are mad about what you're talking about. Oh, well, yeah, intuition. You just have an inner knowing. You just know what you know. You know what's in your heart. Running is here. What else? Clarity. So you're only like you, you're only going to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. And you're very unbiased, too. Or they know that you know the truth. We have ignoring. Someone was ignoring the truth. Or they were ignoring something here. Someone was ignoring an inner knowing that they had. If someone saw you run from something or somebody, they knew why you ran, but they were ignoring it. And they were still attacking you. They knew exactly why you ran or whatever, why you wanted to get out of a relationship or a job or something, but they still were, they were, they were still attacking you. A closer look nosy up in your business. Yeah, they know exactly why you ran because they have all the information on you, right? They know a lot about you. We have only you. You could have telepathy with somebody here. Someone who's very devoted to you. Or this is what they found out, that someone is very devoted to you. Yeah, I can make this up. Okay. So we got commitment here. Marriage, promises, and fidelity. So you're going towards a relationship where there will be a lot of communication. There has to be communication in a relationship where it's not going to work between you and this person. They may have significant air placements like Gemini. To where they like to talk anyway. You are probably in a relationship in the past with someone who hated to talk about anything because they are a narcissist. And every time, every time they're talking, they get exposed. Like they hate that. They hate that about the relationship. So you're going to be in a relationship with someone that has no problem talking like a normal human being. And the arguments aren't so childish. Like this... This energy here is like, okay, so we have distracted and then we have cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced and distorted. What is, uh, what is clarity? Someone's going to come clean with you. What's clarity? We have time, waiting cycles and moments. They could be waiting on the right time to tell you something. Fishing for comments. What's ignoring? What's ignoring? Cock blocking. You have someone out here that knows that they're not a good person, but they're still trying to block you. Like, this is annoying to me. What's inside scoop? past life and in their head someone is someone knows something about you guys they know a secret about you guys they know that there's something here about a karmic lesson that you've learned and they're mad about this this could be an ex or it could be like someone who knows how to dig into your records or something they found out that you're in love with somebody or that you are falling in love with somebody or someone is in love with you or they're devoted to you, you have a, a certain connection with them if someone's waiting for the right time to block this.
so they can block you. They want they want a mask on to be all on their head. What's distracted? Child services. What's distracted with child services? Rejected. Escaping. Avoiding blocking and pushing away. This is that non-present father I was picking up in my last reading. This is something about like you guys escaping a non-present father. It's like they're present, but they don't, or they're not present, but they don't want you to go anywhere. That type of energy. They get distracted too easily or they, they have too many delays in their life or something, but they want to delay you. There's something here about children. Like someone that really does not care about their kids or something. Like I didn't know it was that deep. Like someone here like really does not care about their kids. What's cloudy judgment? No facts. Never has the facts, makes things up and lies. Someone is working with somebody here. They're working with this female that thinks that they can have information on you. Yeah, fake flexing. They don't have no sort of information on you at all. They show off like they know everything, but they don't. Yeah, they're real clout hungry. They'll literally just say anything. Whoever that is. What is commitment? And then I'll go. What's commitment? Divine Feminine. And then we have uh, Divine Masculine over here. Yay. Oh, wait. Divine Masculine came out last time. In the last reading. Caught a case. Hmm. What's caught a case with Divine Feminine? So may I try to give you Divine Feminine something. I can't make this up, guys. Divine Masculine is here. But what's called a case about? They're trying to say that you guys have a disease? I don't think so. What's called a case? Too busy winning. Yeah, this is what they're trying to say, but you're too busy winning with this person. Yeah, love triangle. Whoever this person, someone is lying. I, I see what they're lying about and it's not working. They're trying to make it seem like Divine Feminine and Masculine have a disease together. Like you guys just have herpes together or something or whatever they're trying to say. Um, I don't think that is true. I don't think none of that is true. And someone is a bad parent. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for this, so. What's only you? Yeah, so how could you guys have a disease if this masculine here is very devoted and committed to you? Shine, your light irritates their demons. Someone is lying. <laughs> or they're asking if divine feminine or masculine has a disease. No, they don't. They're only devoted to each other. They came out together. So they're not sleeping with nobody. These two people are very loyal to each other. Conflicted, decisions hot and cold, multiple choices. Moving on. Open heart. Yeah, they thought that they did you guys in. Yeah, now they're having car issues, okay? They're having car issues right now. Somebody's weird. Somebody does everything for the clout, whoever this female is. They don't know what they're talking about or their facts are all messed up or this doesn't make any sense. They're trying to say Divine Feminine Masculine has caught a case. This is what they want it to look like. Y'all got medical issues going on over there, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Very interesting. Give me one card. <laughs> Someone's giving all their money to a, um, to a karmic to get information on you and it's not working. 
or they're just wasting all their money. Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. Release your blocks. Yep, I guess this is you guys releasing your blocks. I feel like this is Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine doing this. All right, guys, so this is your reading. Hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.